Hi, I'm Terrell. Terrell. That was the slides that didn't count. These are the slides that are being recorded. So I'm going to give a consortium update for a few minutes. Uh, there's lots of buttons up here now. Let's see. So like I said, we are at year 15, which is quite impossible. I think I've been involved for 12 of them, something like that, which is entirely too large of a number. We don't have any cupcakes yet. I know there's getting cupcakes coming. Uh, I want to say thank you to Dawn. She made all of this work. And so we're going to clap for her uh, in a moment here. Make, make her feel very uncomfortable. Uh, she keeps all of us on the rails, uh, especially in the last six months. Uh, uh, Laura, who's standing beside Dawn in the back of the room, she, she had a baby, so she wasn't around a lot of the planning of this particular event, but it still worked. We did it, and uh, that's really amazing. Um, also, Dawn is leaving us next week, so uh, we have three more days of Dawn after the UGM. Uh, so she's off to bigger and better things. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. And uh, this really is uh, wonderful, including a venue change last week. Don't think about it. Thank you. Uh, Dave Fellinger, I think many of you know uh, from the past few years with our work with IROTS uh, and DDN. Uh, Dave passed away about 10 or 11 days ago. And this was very shocking. I had spent a couple of weeks with him in Japan and Germany, even just in the last month. Uh, saw him at the airport, and then within a couple of days, he was in the hospital. Um, he will be 76 tomorrow, would have been 76 tomorrow, which is kind of crazy. Uh, seven years ago, he retired from DDN after 30 something years, I think, and he volunteered his time. Uh, as a retiree, I think he was bored and wanted something interesting to do, or maybe we're just that interesting. Uh, and so he offered his his time and expertise and his connections uh, and has been doing that for, for seven years. Uh, we are going to miss him very much. I don't know that he's replaceable. It's kind of impossible. Uh, so I just wanted to give a, a few seconds to uh, a moment of silence for this. And so, Dave, thank you. Um, we will probably talk about him a little bit later this week, but not as much on the recording. Um, so the consortium is a project. It's not a company. We are here at the University of North Carolina. We are part of RINCI, which you just heard about. Uh, consortium is, oh my gosh, now 10 years old. Uh, our mission still, this is basically from the beginning, the first day, uh, continuous improvement. This is an open source project, so the whole point is never to go backwards, never to be able to be bought, put on the shelf, uh, hidden from the world. So if we make it better, it'll keep getting better. Uh, we have to grow the community because that's how we get to be sustainable. And obviously our goal is never be weird and strange. We want to be as standardized as possible, be approachable, uh, be um, interoperable as much as possible. And of course, the way this works is that we show value to the people in the room. Thank you, thank you for coming. Uh, on Friday, we have troubleshooting. You can throw things at us and tell us what you want. We'll try and make it better. Here's a different cake, it has a 10 on it. So yeah, this is in fact the 10th, 10th year is founded in 2013. I think maybe in honor of Ashok joining us, I'm not sure, it's the same time. Uh, Rincy, uh, the dice group, uh, which is the, the the group that we kind of stole from California for the first few years of uh, of IROD's history, and and DDN was a founding member in large part because of uh, because of Dave, uh, he had he had gotten to know us uh, in his work a few years before he retired and was was instrumental in getting this off the ground. We have twenty I can't count 26, 25, 26 uh, members right now. Uh, three are super anonymous. I'm hoping, I'm trying to convince them to put their picture, put their logo on the screen. Uh, these are largely people doing science. A lot of you are at the science end of things. Um, hardware vendors who want to be maximally compatible with what we do so they can come and sell into your enterprises. And then um, technology integrators, because we are only seven, eight, nine people, can't be everywhere all the time. And so we'd like to do uh, service and support contracts and train the trainers and then have boots on the ground around the world to hold support contracts and we can back them up, right? So that's, that's our 
that's the future of sustainability, I think, in a sense, because it scales. We've had 23 renewals in the last year, three new members. I think they're on the next slide. Uh, this is a fuzzy number, two to three new service contracts. Uh, lots of phone calls. Every phone call is a proof of concept. <laughs> Uh, we've hosted or been a part of 17 different events uh, or conferences around the world, which is a lot for a group of seven to eight people. Two new hires, uh, four interns are here. I think they're all in the room. You can wave to them or corner them and ask them five. Uh, ask them, ask them hard questions. They'll love that. And then uh, it turns out there was a baby. So Fujifilm has joined us this year. Uh, after a couple years of talking, Arizona has finally joined after 38 years of talking about this, I think, which is great. We finally tricked the lawyers into signing things. And then I think in the last 48 hours, 24 hours, um, uh, IT for Innovations, the supercomputing center in uh, the Czech Republic has finally come through with paperwork. So uh, welcome, if you're listening, thank you. You are, we are a member. We've got uh, five working groups right now. Everybody's part of the technology working group. We do this every month. We have calls, uh, talk about all the things, virtually throw things at us so we can talk and figure out what you're doing. Uh, the metadata templates working group was the, is the first and oldest. Uh, that work has mostly stalled in the sense that we've tried so many things and decided it's really hard. So we're going to write all that down and then that one might kind of go away over time. Uh, we'll write down all of the learnings that we've had. Authentication working group uh, produced uh, code that became the baseline for 4.3 in terms of uh, the plugins and uh, new architecture for, for authentication. Uh, S3 working group is a couple years old. I've, I've got a talk tomorrow, tomorrow about the work that's come out of the S3 working group uh, trying to present IRODs as S3. And then most recently, the imaging working group, which again was referenced uh, a few minutes ago, uh, we, we started this about a year and a half ago, and within two or three weeks, we had 20 or 30 people from around the world connect and really interested in doing this. Uh, surprising amount of interest in a short amount of time on our scale. Uh, and most in the room were not IRODS users, which was also new. Uh, the AmeriCorps community has shared a lot of DNA with what we do. It's open source. Uh, they have a large number of people interested in what they're doing. They've got software that needs to be maintained and produced but they do write things down locally. And so it's a very happy marriage, I think, if we can figure out the technical details of, of, of hooking Omera into uh, what IRODS does. Uh, a lot of interest from uh, medical centers and medical research facilities, which is also good and important. Uh, this looks similar to last year. Uh, we are still spending a lot of time trying to facilitate local sustainability around the world. I know that there's now a Yoda consortium around the software uh, that came out of Utrecht, which I think is fantastic. Uh, and we're trying to do this in other places around the world. Uh, COVID is not over, but we are back on airplanes. So again, like I said, we've been uh, traveling more and being in more places. It's good to see people. Everybody is not, in fact, the same height like they are in the computer. Uh, lots of new partnerships. I mentioned the the service and support and the kind of level three support things. So we're, we're working with a few people around the world uh, to increase our footprint in there. And obviously all the projects at RINC, uh, we have our feet and fingers in many things uh, at RINC, lots of projects. This has not changed. Uh, business model really is all use case driven. We like to hear real things from you about what is hard. That's how we figure out what to work on. We don't just make this stuff up. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, we like to be hands-on and, you know, through the various membership levels, we can spend more time with you or less time with you. We're not, yeah, that's how it works. Uh, that's it for the slides. Anybody have any questions about any of this? Maybe not. I will be around for all the days. Um, I have a special room over there. We can have a secret meeting. If that's interesting to you, if you don't want to ask questions in front of everybody. All right, thank you.